vibrant hues, grand celebrations, zeal, fervor and enthusiasm. Descriptions that can be best used for most of the festivals celebrated in India. Festivals of every religion celebrated with unfettered passion and excitement are the true manifestation of the rich culture and traditions of our country. Each festival is celebrated on a grand scale and in different ways according to the diverse beliefs found in our country. Amongst all the festivals, one of the most spectacular and which brings about such a massive turnout is Ganesh Chaturthi, held annually in honour of Lord Ganesh, the son of Lord Shiva and his consort Parvati. The festival marks the birth of the beloved elephant-headed god in the Hindu month of Bhadrapad or Bhado, normally held in late September or October. Ganesh Chaturthi is celebrated across different parts of the country, but the celebrations in Mumbai remain unparalleled. Though a 10-day long festival, the preparations for the grand celebration start months in advance. After the primary structure of bamboo and straw is assembled, to give it the shape of the beloved God, clay is applied on it. This results in a long row of gigantic, medium and small colourful idols of Lord Ganesh waiting to be taken into various huge temporary pandals as well as to private homes. As per Hindu mythology, Lord Ganesha is considered the Vignaharta, the one who removes all obstacles, and the Buddhi Pradayak, the one to bestow intelligence. He also stands as the symbol of wisdom, prosperity and good fortune. From the first day, known as Bhadrapad Shuddh Chaturthi, through till the last day, known as Ananta Chaturthi, the Ganapati idol is worshipped with great devotion and strong belief. With soaring chants and traditional drum beats, the deity arrives to the place which would be his abode for the next few days. There are four main rituals performed during Ganesh Chaturthi. Pran Paratishtha, the process of infusing life of the deity into a murti or idol. Shodhashopachara, 16 forms of paying tribute to the god. Uttar Puja, after which the idol can be shifted and lastly, Ganapati Visarjan, immersion of the idol into a river or the sea. Ganesh Puja is performed on a small scale within houses or on a massive one in huge mandaps. In cities like Mumbai and Pune, huge Ganapati idols are made and people celebrate the festival with great enthusiasm. At every nook and corner of these cities, huge mandaps are thronged to by hundreds and thousands of devotees to get a glance of their beloved Lord Ganesh, worship him and to get prasad. In private homes, friends and relatives of the family come together. 
morning and evening aartis are the norm and are observed till the day of the idol's immersion. Guests are welcomed and served prasad. Nobody returns empty-handed. Then arrives the day of the immersion or Ganapati Visarjan. The immersion is done with people shouting at the top of their voices and with utmost devotion and enthusiasm. Ganapati Bappa Morya, Purcha Varshi Lokkariya, praying to the Vignaharta to come soon again the next year. A popular belief prevails amongst Hindus that change is the only constant in everything in the universe. However, the energy remains and the immersion of the Ganesh idol in the water serves to be a reminder of this. The idol, decorated with flowers and fabrics, is carried out of the mandaps amidst a huge procession of devotees carrying the Lord with utmost respect and devotion, singing and dancing to the beat of drums, all the way to be immersed in the water praising the Lord and urging Him to come early again the next year. As the idol is immersed in the water, the festival comes to an end. Even though the beloved elephant-headed God, Lord Ganesh, comes to mark His presence on earth only for 10 days a year, He blesses His devotees with prosperity, fortune and wisdom. He leaves His devotees only to come back again the next year.